Yo guys, what's going on? Ben here. Just a quick mail day video today. Um, haven't done one of these in a while besides a COMC video. Um, just a few things I picked up, kind of what things I've been getting, um, collecting and whatnot. Um, so yeah, just a couple oddball things. Um, no Mike Piazza, which is my main PC. But yeah, I'm just going to get right into this for you guys. So I got a little lot of vintage cards. Um, and these are poor, poor condition, but still really cool. So this is a 52 Bowman, Gil McDowell, Gil McDoggled. Um, as you can see, pretty, pretty poor condition, giant crease. But the other, the reason I bought this lot is because the other two cars, and they're also in poor condition, but I mean, this one right here, um, always wanted one of these cars. So this is a Warren Spawn. Um, I am going to get these graded by SGC just for the authentication purpose. Um, I expect these to get a one or a two. Um, and then this one also, Duke Snyder. This is the better condition out of the three. There is still some obvious wear. This one maybe could get like a two and a half or a three potentially. The other ones I fully expect a one. But yeah, these are, I've always wanted 52 Bowman and I saw this a lot and got it really reasonably priced because um, the seller was not <laughs> very reputable, which is also why I want to get it authenticated just to cover my bases. But I'm really excited about these cards. The next lot, um, well, not a lot, next pickup was this Dallas Clark Rookie from Topps Chrome. Um, as you can see, it's pretty off center, so I'm not going to get this one graded, but I just really love this card. And out of 101 so yeah just had to have this one and next up um another pretty cheap purchase but fletcher cox um just a guy who's kind of throw you know been under the radar his whole career but printing a pro bowler probably a hall of famer one day and you can pick these cards up for so so cheap i mean literally a couple bucks for a tops chrome orange refractor of a potential hall of famer so really nice card right there um, another one that I, I thought I got for a steal was this Bobby Wagner rookie, uh, Gridiron. Um, not one of his more popular cards, obviously, not a Prism or a Topps Chrome, but it's a numbered autograph rookie nonetheless, $4.99, and got this for $25. So really, really good deal in my opinion um, for this card. And lastly here, um, I am starting this set, um, and if you don't know what set it is, it's UFC. Um, so not everyone's in the UFC, but it is this... 2013 Topps Finest Gold. Now, these are all numbered 88, but look at these cards. I mean, and obviously doesn't do it justice. I'm gonna pull this one out just so you guys can see. I mean, the, the sheen on these cards is nuts. And these are just beautiful cards, just absolutely gorgeous cards. Now, there are a few cards in the set that might not be attainable. <laughs> um, Khabib being one of them. I think a BGS 9 just sold on eBay for over $1,000. Um, but first off, we got a Pat Berry. I have a lot in my COMC account that I just haven't shipped back to me yet. Um, Pat Berry, we got a Junior Dos Santos. And then these two are pretty actually, actually pretty good ones that I'm really excited about. We got a Nate Diaz and Glover Deschera. Um, like I said, all numbered 88. Um, these are harder, harder and harder to find these days. Boxes, hobby boxes go for well over $1,000. You can't find those either. Um, but these cards are so cool. It's a 100 card set. That is my next project, um, along with the Tops Inception Red. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry I rambled a bit, but I hope you enjoyed this content. Like, subscribe, appreciate all the support, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya!